We finally succeeded in turning this house upside down. The final season of The Crown, Diana's final days. Dashing around and losing sight of myself in the process. Once again, Elizabeth Debicki is transformed into Princess Diana, a woman whose death transformed her as a child. You were seven years old and remember your mum sobbing. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I remember very clearly, watching the two princes in the funeral, the sadness in those two boys. And I think most people remember that so, so clearly. Set against a background of raw emotion, the royal family remained silent. The attention to detail in the series' final season is stunning. Don't really understand how I ended up here. From recreating this now famous shot of Diana alone on a yacht in the Riviera, to her brave walk through the minefields of Angola. You know, I think that's been the story of my whole life. For Elizabeth, taking on the immense pressure and anxiety of delivering Diana's heartbreaking last chapter was almost overwhelming. I, I have distinct memories of, of being in the makeup chair and just thinking, it's too sad. I don't know, I can't do it today, it's too sad. Perhaps the hardest part to navigate emotionally was shooting the scenes leading up to her death in that Paris tunnel. And there are days where I just can't face that feeling of being trapped in the car. We were never going to take it down a notch, if that makes sense. We always knew we had to keep it at this level of honesty. It requires you to put all yourself on the screen. The press are on our tails constantly. And being trapped in the car, and what was going through your head when you're thinking she dealt with this on a it's daily horrend basis? It's just horrendous, but I think you know, not until you're in that situation do you just think this is just completely inhumane. No one should ever, ever, ever have to deal with that, and it makes you feel like an animal in a cage. Get out! kind of losing your grasp of reality. But I don't think they ever did, that's the thing. That's what I experienced playing these, these characters. It's just this sense of like, I must just get through this challenge. Whatever it looks like, just get to the other side. Just get to the other side. Mommy, you okay? It has all been a bit mad recently. Do you feel ready to let her go. I learnt so much from playing this role. Anyone who learns about this extraordinary human being, it's impossible to come away from it and not feel like you've been given a gift. She was so progressive in the way she championed issues. She was so kind to people. Diana gave people what they needed and they adored her for it. And she really knew that it was the only thing worthwhile in life. I don't have to give that stuff away. I get to keep that now.